Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your uh, weekly singles love reading for Scorpio. How are you guys this week, Scorpio? Hope all's well. Let's see what's happening. New love prospects, connections, anyone you're dealing with. What is it you need to know? Scorpio, there we go. Yeah, I see someone being very sweet, possibly a little gift or it's a crush. <laughs> someone longing for love. Yeah. I do see someone making a decision. Could be a reconciliation if you're missing someone. But it's often just a decision. It's also a healing energy. Yeah, three of wands. Yeah, some of you have been waiting. Maybe making a decision. It's time to look elsewhere. Because some of you are longing for love. So I do see this energy of waiting for something to happen here. Waiting for a situation to come to fruition. Yeah, I feel you've been very patient. Yeah, I feel you're going to end the situation. The decision is to end the situation with someone who's keeping you waiting. Because I feel, do some of you have a new crush here. Yeah. Well, see, you're going to do what's right for you. It's an energy of someone here who's kept you waiting. They're not being fair. Yeah, you're going to just do what's right for you. I, I like this energy. This is that death. No more patience. Time's up. <laughs> this person's not investing. I feel like you're starting to invest in something else, possibly just looking elsewhere. Yeah, see, it's an energy of taking back your power, but I also feel you're, I feel this is a tough decision. You're feeling pulled in two different directions, but it's telling you to control your emotions. Don't be ruled by your emotions. Yeah, I think you're heading off on another course here. Yeah, you got a choice. I see the lovers here. See, it's an energy of uh, making a decision, a choice. I feel like you have a, someone here who's crushing. I feel like you're longing for love. But you're waiting, missing someone while you're longing for love, wasting time, wasting your energy. And that's where I feel. You're. This is the end of a situation. Your patience have run out. Yeah. Some of you too. I actually feel it's an energy of making a first move with someone too. I feel there's a decision there. <laughs> Yeah, Scorpio. Oh, we got two, yeah. See, it's taking a lot of strength and confidence. Ooh, this could be from the masculine perspective, or you have a Cancer, Pisces, or another Scorpio. Just take it how it resonate, resonates. You can definitely flip this energy. You know, I feel here too, this is a person who's confident. See, it's about being confident to, I see a cancer. I actually feel like you got a person coming in here. I feel like you got a crush. But you, I feel yourself, you have to make some sort of choice. Now, it could be this person too. You know, just kind of waiting, making a decision whether they should wait and be patient. But I really feel a lot of this is yourself because there's that Scorpio energy. See, it's the death of the, the end of patience. <laughs> someone here just isn't right they're not coming in right you might even have that realization at some point with this decision they may not even be right for you but what you have is someone who is i feel you know it's definitely a person who's emotionally mature they're very strong they're very confident about how they feel a little leo energy there yeah you're pulled in two different directions but i actually feel like you're going to make this choice you need to be confident about this choice too, I feel. Let's have a look at this Six of Cups. Yeah, so you got a person crushing. You got a person who wants to ask you out. Yeah, and it could be just who's taking the lead here as well. I kind of get this vibe. Yeah, see, it's an energy of justice. Someone coming in right, trusting your inner knowing. I do see a Pisces here for some of you as well. Cancer and Pisces energy here, Scorpio. Yeah, some sort of choice. It's an energy of dating someone here, but I feel like you're waiting for someone to ask you out. But you have this other person who's going to kind of swoop in here. See, it's an energy of someone taking control of the situation. This is someone who's trying not to be ruled by their emotion, definitely. But I feel that's also for yourself here. Just trust your inner knowing. I feel like you already know the answers you're seeking. You're waiting. I feel like you're waiting for something that, you know, may not happen. See, it's an energy of a reason to celebrate, an invitation, an offer, an opportunity. Yeah, I feel like you're going to take this other opportunity. This could be someone who lives near you. Let's see, a house, a home. Reason to celebrate, very positive energy. Uh, you're out of here, been there, done that. And I, I feel it just has to do with 
this person. Um, this energy of longing for love. But I, I do feel it's an energy of somebody possibly missing you. There could be someone missing you or you're missing someone. But you're waiting and waiting for maybe an invitation to their home. Yeah, it's like you're just waiting at home, doing your own thing here too. But there's opportunity. See multiple opportunities, things speeding up. See, you're no I feel like you're tired of being patient. Another opportunity is coming in. I still feel the same. It's like they it's just this cancer Pisces uh, energy you've got around you. Tell me about the death. You know, you're like I say, you're gonna take this other opportunity. There it is. See, thinking things through, choosing your battles, something that's worth fighting for. It's a need to become decisive, be confident. Yeah. It's an energy of chasing, too. But I, I feel it has to do with looking at this, see, being patient. And then you have these other opportunities. I feel there's somebody here who, like, I, I just feel like it's an energy where it's an energy of them not coming in right. See, you're moving away. It's somebody who doesn't want to commit, if they don't commit. It's a very, it feels like a person who's not a non-committal. So that's why I feel like you're kind of lonely. You might be missing this person. So that's why I feel like you're waiting. Because there are some, obviously, feelings, emotions here. But I do feel like you're just, you got another person. You're choosing your battles. I feel like you're going to choose to move on, taking the lessons you learn. I see distance communication. They could be long distance, too. But I also feel, too, it's somebody who's not really uh, taken the time to get to know you. So it's like this transition, this change you're going through, see? That's where you decide to end it. Because I, I feel like you have another person. But I still feel, you know, that push-pull pulled in two different directions. But this is someone coming in to take control. They're determined here to connect. You know, you got to, they definitely, I see some Leo energy, <laughs> Leo Cancer. Yeah, it feels like that person. Yeah, that's a person who's determined. See, they're taking control. They're coming in, taking the lead. So it has to do with taking the lead. Now, if you are the masculine, I see this energy of yourself taking the lead. See, starting something. Strong Leo. Now, they don't have to be. It could be anyone. It's just that energy of someone who's confident enough to start this, to take the lead. I see, I see love coming in. You've got love, Scorpio. This person's very confident. Beautiful energy. Oops. There we go. Yeah. So someone's gonna reach out. They feel pretty confident you'll you'll reciprocate. If you are the one, like I say, taking the lead, that's what I feel. The masculine energy taking the lead. See, taking control of the situation to start this. Very positive, high vibrational. Yeah, I feel there'll be reciprocity, but I also feel you're no longer talking to someone else. You're distancing yourself from someone. It could be because they're at a distance too. But you see opportunities coming in. Things are starting to speed up here. Let's have a look at this communication, this fast-moving energy. This is someone who's determined here. And I feel they like to talk. They like to communicate. Yeah, there's definitely a physical attraction. They're very attracted. Uh, you might be attracted to this person too. But see, they're willing to cooperate and compromise to go down this path. This is someone who's, you know, thinking it through, choosing their battles. This is something worth fighting for. It's worth going after. They're going to do it. <laughs> Very nice. Or you are, if you're the masculine. Yeah, look at that. See, two people reciprocating, talking, communicating. I actually feel like this is a, a really, really nice connection here. Possibly friends first, but like I say, you're going to see eye to eye. Yeah, you both want to build. See, something is building here. The passion is building, taking time. This is a lesson being learned, taking more time to get to know somebody too. And knowing when to move on to avoid a disaster. So that's what I feel like you're going to, that, that's the push-pull where I feel the decision. But they are definitely coming in to start it. This person's a leader. They're not afraid to take in the lead. They want to build. Absolutely. They're definitely emotionally mature, definitely available. You know, they're also very patient. I actually feel this is someone who could be quite generous with their time, their energy. And that's what I feel like. You have someone who's not because you're waiting you see, and maybe even waiting for someone to, you know, invite you to their home, 
you know, and I, but I do feel while you're waiting, you are focused on home, your finances, but I see a reason to celebrate at the end of this. So your intuition is going to guide you. It's telling you, you already know the answers you're seeking. You're wasting time and energy. Yeah, see, moving on. I really like this. Let's have a look at this King of Cups energy. Yeah, see, this is someone very generous, very patient, very sweet. Someone who likes to give little gifts. See, they're going to put in the effort. That's your choice. Do you wait for someone else? But I just feel like it's just a, the whole thing is, is I feel your love life. It's coming to fruition. There's a reason to celebrate here. Okay, just your intuition is going to guide you. Yeah, and helping you make this decision. I feel like you already know. <laughs> you already know. Yeah, see, you already know. It's time to take back your power. Yeah. But it's also an energy of this person coming in who's very determined. I see emotionally mature. Someone who's very emotionally mature, Scorpio. Yeah, level of maturity too. That could be the issue. Yeah, I feel like you just have this, whatever it is you're waiting for. I mean, it could be you, um, as far as the, the masculine, waiting for the right opportunity to reach out to someone. But it's about taking control. But I feel that, again, there's for, for the feminine, I just feel this push-pull with this choice between two. Someone who just wants to date. They could be long distance. But it's also an energy of someone who I feel doesn't necessarily really take spend a lot of time with you. They don't really come in right. You see, it's an energy of someone who often doesn't play fair. They don't take time to get to know you. And that's when you know. Those are the lessons you're learning. You already know the answers you're seeking. Yeah. Moving on, distant communication. This is the energy of the, you know, the end of being patient. There we have. There's the birth of something new. See the lessons you've learned. You know. You know your worth and value. So I feel it's an energy of just being open. And I, I'm going to be honest, I actually feel the feminine here could be the one to take the lead. Sometimes the, the queen, the, the, the empress will, that, you know, sometimes they will. But like I say, if it's the masculine, it could be either or. It's, it's who's just going to take the lead. And I, I feel it doesn't even really matter here. It's just a matter that this gets going. It's about investing. This is someone who's going to show they're invested. They're going to put in the effort. I see doing sweet things, being nice. If you're a single parent, they'll do nice things for your children. But they're definitely someone, they'll even fix things for you, maybe even in your house and home, things like that. See, this is someone who's uh, serious. They're very serious about this. So let's grab some charms. I'm not going to beat this up. So yeah, I mean, the feminine could take the lead, but I do feel it's an energy of, you know, being open, letting this person know you're open, maybe because there's that energy of the... See, reaching out, dropping a little hint, giving them a sign and a signal. So it doesn't really matter who starts this, okay? But I actually, I feel the, the masculine will in the end, but yeah, it could go either way. This is a lovely connection. I really feel this is nice. This is the best reading this week, Scorpio. So let's have a look at this cancer energy at the top. Yeah. See, it's a U-turn. There's that U that comes out. See, taking another look. See, you're trusting your intuition. You're taking a look at the situation. There's the transformation. That's your energy, taking back your power. You see, I feel it's just a person, if you have that choice. Uh, I mean, some of you, there may not even be a choice. I can see that energy here as well, where it's just a new crush. Someone's doing sweet things, saying nice things. You see? It could be someone taking another look, but I feel if it, anything, it's probably you. <laughs> but I feel it's an energy of just staying on the path that you're on, knowing what you want here. That's what I really feel, because I do feel an end of patience. See, some sort of transformation, making doing what's right for you. And it's sometimes just an energy where you realize when you're waiting that someone here isn't really spending a lot of time or taking time to get to know you. Because that's the Empress energy, the lessons learned, applying it to this situation. You know, yeah. You know, the letter J with the Empress here, the letter V. Could be initials, places. V sometimes for victory. There's that U again, and there's that U-turn. See, taking another look, feeling pulled in two different directions. 
But it's an energy of maturity too, staying in control of emotions, not being ruled, making a decision uh, by being logical, being fair. I feel it's just a balance between head and heart as well because I can see that energy. There's the logic here. See, it's an energy of choosing your battles, going down this path with someone who's compatible, but it's acknowledging, see, waiting for the one. Someone who you thought was the one may not be for some of you. But this really, this here, this could be the one. <laughs> well, it's such a lovely energy. Let's have a look at this King of Wands. Yeah, the letter G, A, I. There's a leaf, which means releasing. That's releasing. Releasing someone that's keeping you, you know, stuck and single. You're sitting at home, waiting waiting for this person to invite you to their home or to ask you out. But the celebration is what I like. I see a strong financial foundation too. Things you have in common with someone. Yeah, it's, I feel it's just this energy of what you both bring to the table here too. So this release, renew energy, okay, starting something new. By releasing things that no longer serve this person, this energy. Lovely. Yeah, there's the communication. There it is. The cycle beginning, a new cycle. Things going in your favor. This person's really confident. Like they come in, they're confident about how they feel. They're confident about what it is they want. They want to connect. Now, I, I definitely see the emotional connection. Talking, communicating. I feel all good here. Yeah, really nice. You're going to see eye to eye. I see music. There's things that you both, both may like. Beautiful. I like the music. So it's, to me, it's just telling me harmony. There's harmony with this person. I see a bicycle. Maybe that's something you both like. But that's also, I see the wheels turning. <laughs> yeah. The letter O. The letter I. This is such a positive energy. This person's taken the lead. They want this to go in their favor. Like I say, they're not. A, they're, this is somebody who's just going for it. They're determined. But they're mature. They go about it in a mature way. They come in right. Where this other energy, I feel, for those, for only for those who have a choice, they don't really come in right. But you're going to look at that too, I feel, and make a decision. Is this person right for me? Is this what I want? I feel like you already know. <laughs> Have a look at the Six of Cups. Beautiful, yeah. So this could be long-term. I see a possible commitment. Yeah, this person is definitely somebody who's not afraid of commitment at all. They're very family-oriented. If you have children or they want children, okay, it's an energy of being on the same page. You get each other, I feel. Yeah, the letter N. Yeah, there's that, the hot air balloon. A <laughs> little bit of ego and pride. This person likes to be a good provider. They, they definitely are someone who's a good provider. But yeah, they have a bit of ego. They, they have pride. Pride in home, family. Um, I, I don't feel anything negative there. Definitely the, you know, it's an energy of releasing the ego too. That could be yourself here with that. And there it is, the good omen. So there's just a positive energy and lots of communication. I do feel things at some point here up in the air too, because I do see this air energy in the heart having to make this choice to end a situation. I see running out of patience. Some of you have been patiently, but it's an energy also where your patience start to pay off. That's something else some of you are learning to be patient as well. Yeah, this could definitely go to the next level. You see, this is two people coming together, going down this path. See, you're choosing a path. You're choosing to move away from a situation. There it is. You're moving towards happiness. This is, I feel like you already know. This person knows. They know what they want. I don't know if you ride bikes together, you like the same music, but I just see harmony. I just see harmony between two people. Now, I don't know, maybe it's them who's leaving someone else behind too. It's very possible it's them. But yeah, it's just really, really lovely. It's just a really happy, positive reading. I don't think this is an energy of a massive struggle with this decision. I feel like you're just kind of looking at it. It's where you kind of put on the brakes here and kind of look at it for a moment <laughs> before making a decision. But don't make a choice by, you know, be, being ruled by your emotions. It's a, I feel there's a need to make a balance between head and heart. So... Let's have a look at the timing. 
Let's take a look at the moon cards. You can check these out online for dates. Everyone's path is different. Everyone's path timing is, is different. Scorpio. This one wanted to come out first, and then these two. Okay. And we have fiery climax. You know, they're fiery. There's passion here. There's a lot of passion. <laughs> so someone coming to fruition, a little Aries. They may have Aries in their chart for some of you. Or you. I mean, that's also your energy, Mars energy. You know, your hard work's paying off. Patience paying off. The fact that you're taking a, putting on the brakes and looking at the situation. Yeah. Don't let your don't let your past hold you back. Yeah, there could be something. See, this is energy of the past, leaving the past in the past. See, knowing when to avoid a disaster, taking the lessons learned. This is such a lovely reading for you. Yeah, you are good enough too. Beautiful energy. It's another full moon in Virgo energy. Don't see any Virgo energy, but it's all about the timing. Yeah, prosperity lies ahead, new moon in Taurus. So they could, there's someone with a little Taurus in their chart. That's also connected with the Empress too. But there is a little earth energy here. Lots of water. <laughs> if you have a choice between two, it's Pisces and Cancer, um, it, whether it's in their charts or who they are. Uh, but I also feel, like I say, I, I feel it's just some of you, this is just one person where you're taking, you know, you're putting on the brakes and taking another look. Because if you are longing for love or you have someone who's been waiting, what you're waiting for, I feel, is coming to fruition. This could end up in a commitment, an invitation. See, dating, beautiful energy. It starts this way, but you see, this is also an energy of being patient. This is somebody who could come in. They're just exploring their feelings. They're dating, uh, definitely. You can see, and it could be them taking, you know, putting on the brakes and taking another look. But for some reason, I feel like it's yourself. Beautiful energy. Yeah, some full moon in Aquarius. Show the, show the world the real you. So it's about just being you. Okay, just being you. Just be yourself because this person, I feel like you're going to connect. Lovely energy. Yeah. This person is definitely someone who likes to be a good provider. I can feel it. They're providing, you see. But it's what you both can provide for each other. That's what I feel you're both going to get something you want out of this with that wheel of fortune. I see just happiness and joy, love, a bond, a connection between two people. Yeah, you've got love. Take care. Wish you the best and we'll see you soon, Scorpio.